bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for Bring Them Out with your hosts, Joel Richardson and Alan Hill. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're here at the Sunnybrook Ballroom inside the Speakeasy for another episode of Bring Them Out. I'm Alan Hill, here with Soul Joel himself, Joel Richardson. We are flying solo again today, and uh, what's up, buddy? Dude, so I, I have to tell you, when we released an episode, and I was positive that we hadn't released it, so I had a look, obviously, like, you always wear the Eagles jersey, right? And right. I, I, most of the time, wear my Soul Joel shirt. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes I'll have my gray pants on. But yeah. so I had a look and I go, all right, you had on, um, was it 11? AJ Brown, yeah. AJ Brown, or then so. it was uh, it was another one. And I had a look and I go, all right, you got that jersey. But I didn't have this, I go, all right, we're good. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You were making sure we didn't have the same combination. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I, go, I go, and then, even then, it doesn't mean that it's the same episode. Because we still could have been talking about different things. Right, right. But I'm at least if I know we're wearing different things, it's not the same episode. Dude, I love it. And I think uh, Devontae Smith hasn't, I don't know if he's made an appearance on the on the pod. Maybe if he, if he did, it was just once probably because this is smaller than some of my other jerseys and I got pretty fat there, buddy. Oh. I'm on my way back down a little now. Oh, so I, I'm fitting back into Devontae Smith. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Congrats me when I get back into uh, some of my jerseys from uh, the Donovan McNabb era. Yeah. <laughs> when I start throwing on some of those shirts and uh, and the buttons look exhausted, <laughs> trust me, I start feeling. I, I so I understand exactly. What well, I got saying. to the point where my fat guy reserve pants were getting tight. Oh, you know what I mean. That's yeah, what I knew yeah. I was doing. I was like, all right, buddy, we need to make a couple changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time to get up out that couch. That's right. <laughs> No good. Yeah, dude. when you're banging your foot on the floor trying to yeah. get the, the pins and needles from too much sugar. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it's time. That's when it's time. <laughs> when you're walking back home to yeah. Lancaster. <laughs> Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, that's right. That might be a little much. Yeah, that's extreme. I would probably die. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, so uh, so we had the Pride event, man. Oh, so yes. Let's jump right Let's into go. it. Let's go. So, people don't know, um, we had uh, we had the third annual Pridezilla. Mm -hmm. and which, so the first time we had it at Soul Joel's, it was the first time that... Um, First one was back at Rofo, right? Rofo, right. So we had it in the dome, and and things hadn't opened up yet. Mm -hmm. So we had NBC and ABC and CBS, and when it, even when lady from CBS showed up, I go, oh, you're from ABC. She goes, no, I'm from CBS. My because my eyes, I go, oh, my eyes were. I wasn't looking at her shirt. Yeah, right, right, right. And I also I didn't. I just assumed I was only getting covered by one. Right. I didn't assume they all were showing up. They're all up, coming, yeah. Because only ABC told me they were on their way. Amazing. We swept network TV with the exception of Fox right. in Philadelphia. Right. It was cool. And uh, so, but then last year, we were in the middle of the transition. We had not yet announced that we were coming here. Mm -hmm. So we were in uh, Phoenixville, but now we have a home. We're here. And it was amazing. So so we had Lauren, who takes all of our pictures, and we post about it. Photo Ninja. Yeah, she's great, man. And always gets Lauren the best pictures. Yeah, Lauren Ariel always gets the best pictures of everyone. And so she was here. Um, we had an all day event. Uh, Which I came in at the tail end of to see Jessica Kirsten. Person, it was quite an event, garage, let me tell dude. you. It, was, it looked like a cool, an amazing time. Yeah, yeah. We had over 500 people. Um, people are drinking, having a good time. Um, and then when we posted the pictures, people start getting upset that we're having a pride event. And they're just like, oh, I can't believe this. And why, why would they do that? And they, so coming at us and, and it's already over. Right. So, and they're trying to say that we're influencing kids and this, and I'm like, it was a ticketed event. It serving alcohol. Serving alcohol. Nobody under, under the age of 21 is in there. Yeah. It's a private, not, not, I won't say it's a private event, but it's a ticketed event. Yeah. And, and we're not letting minors in. Absolutely. So that's their choice. Yep. Right. And so, so when we, so when I did that, I kept like deleting. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, delete, delete. Because there, there's two ways you can handle it. You can delete it or you can hide it. And then they don't know that you're hiding it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'm like, I'm going to delete it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy keeps coming back. He's like, oh, well, 
deleting it speaks volumes. And so I delete it again. Deleting it again really speaks volumes. Right. And so... His archaic opinions speak volumes. Is right. What, is what really speaks volumes to me. Right. <laughs> and he then leaves me a one-star review. What a, what a dick. I mean, yeah. And it says, <laughs> immoral, it says, uh, immoral, dr- this venue hosts immoral drag shows. Right? And then they did it again over at Sunnybrook. Which really says something about your restaurant and the quality of the food. Right. Exactly. Well, yeah. Well, no, exactly. And also, so, so I just, I share right away. I share right away. And we ended up with 655 star reviews in two days. That's beautiful. Amazing, right? And what it's just. Support. Support. Where were those people leaving five star reviews over the last couple of years? Yeah, hey, well, sometimes people can be dragged to the, <laughs> I, I, yeah. the trough to drink the yeah. water, you know? <laughs> As my brother in law said, he goes, sometimes they need a little nudge. Well, buddy, I'm one of them because I gave you a review for the first time ever. I don't. I didn't even know how to do it. Like, right. I was like, all right, I'm going to click things and see if Which, I can figure way, this out. Which, by the way, we have motivational Mondays because I needed like, a, a thumping to post on Monday. So we've been doing it for a month, like on Mondays. Just, hey, if you came to a show this weekend, we thank, thank you coming for the first time. You know, leave us a review, Facebook or Google, and please do it. But yeah, it, it, they, they trickle in, yeah, one yeah. or two. So we had 480 reviews. Beautiful. Now we have 1150. Holy crap. So it's almost, more than double. almost yeah, 700 views now. Wow. I mean, uh, more that we got. And, that's, uh, that's killer, man. Really, yeah. But then it started coming out, this is a publicity stunt. And I said, first of all, a stunt would be something, and I'm not above it. Let me tell <laughs> right, you. right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not modern saying, day PT Barnum. Yeah, I'm not saying we we eventually said we were going to move to Austin. <laughs> I may have said that. I'm one of that had a minor heart attack the day you put that up. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I can't, Uber, I can't afford an Uber to Austin, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> do it from Lancaster. You yeah. can't do it to Austin. No, I get it. I'm doing it, but uh, but this was this was not a publicity stunt this was a defense to my business right exactly, exactly. so I'm defending it 100%. and so I did that and uh, they they kept coming back and, and they were saying this says a lot about the owner and I'm like what but what do you believe in the first amendment right well that I, I but had, you're an American I had that <laughs> yeah I had that in your mind in my mind where I'm like dude this it's not a community center mm-hmm. it's a privately owned business I'm the only owner I don't have a board to answer to it. Right. So how are you telling some, some of the people that said it on the review? It's like, what's the ego on you where you're telling a producer of the events what they can and cannot do? Yeah, it's crazy. Because one guy even said, he goes, the community is trying to tell you something. And I'm like, I would not no, because the community came out. Community bought 500 tickets for the damn event. <laughs> right. The community had a hell of a time. There was how many people were there in total that day? Yeah. Between Jessica and, and Irene. Over 500. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, that, 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 there's your community. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying. And like, I mean, this is one lonely asshole in a basement, probably his mother's basement, typing. Yeah, yeah. Not your sister's basement, because that would be me. No, no, no. That, that's yeah. not a loser. <laughs> mother's basement. Loser. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Footnote. <laughs> yeah, dude, it, it's crazy. It's dude. just, it's, it's wild. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, yeah, so the support came out, and and it's so That's it's a kind beautiful of, thing. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's and it, and just to have that happen is really cool. And the the, the posts have since been removed, mm-hmm. so we're hoping that that part's over. But and even some people have come out to events since then, and they said that like we saw what's going on. I don't agree with those events, but I understand what you're doing, and you have inclusive. And that's all I'm trying to do is promote inclus like inclusivity. Inclusivity. Yes. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Nice, dude. That's a beautiful thing. This is what this is. Somewhere along the way in this fucking country, people have lost what the First Amendment is all about, and it drives me bad. The First Amendment only matters if you are willing to defend those you disagree with. Yeah. That's the only time it fucking matters. And this asshole out there, if you're watching this man, you don't get it. You don't get it at all. You've lost what America's about. Right. You need to rethink your shit. Well, and that's what I keep telling people. I'm like, the one guy that was attacking, I'm like, you're a freedom fighter. This is a First Amendment thing. Yeah. I literally, in one week, had D.L. Hughley, and the next week had Jim Brewer. Yes, see, I love this shit, One man. week, I have All Ages Magic Show, Drag Brunch, your thing Pridezilla, Pat Dixon. You know what I mean? Right. You're all over the map. Anthony and I Cooley. love that. Yeah. 
I love that. Yeah, freaking uh, the Uncle Rico show. Right. You know that's you know that that's on way on this side of the spectrum. Yeah. Bridezilla's way over here, and you do everything in between. We had the guy I told you that uh, that does country line dancing came to swing dance and goes, "That's about all that music I could take." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really? The, the line dancing is now hating on the swing dancing? I'm like, dude. I'm like, this is wild. That's so funny, man. But I get it. Like, But I have to have something for Everybody's everyone. got their thing. Yeah. You're finding out what those things are. Because if draw. I'm only trying to attract one type of person or one viewpoint, then I'm all ma- automatically uh, eliminating 50%. By the way, how many tickets to this place of any type has that magical keyboard warrior fuck gov on? I, I, according to his fake profile, Zero. Yeah. So why do we give a shit about his opinion at all? Right. <laughs> yeah. it, I'm not losing anything. Right. 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 It's it's crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we'll we'll see what happens, man. I uh, I just I can't fully wrap my head around what's the motivation. Yeah, it's weird, man. People just love to fuck with shit. Like this is the modern, this is the the internet era, man. That I just still am having a hard time wrapping my head around. You yeah. know what I mean? Twenty five years into it or whatever we are now, you know, like it just blows my mind. Like people just love. Fucking with people's shit, like you know, like I just don't get it. Like just just sitting at home, just looking for things to, you know, like I mean, I imagine one of the things that's happened uh, is people are locked in on their news source and they get all riled up. Like all these right. new, all these news channels, man. If you're watching the news, all they're doing is riling you up, and there it is an echo chamber for whatever side you're on. If you're watching CNN, they're feeding your liberal beliefs. If you're watching Fox, they're feeding your right beliefs. And they are trying to make you hate the other person. And it's sick what's happening in this country. It bothers the shit out of me. And this asshole on his keyboard is a big symptom of that. Right. Well, and that's what, that's what I try to promote, man. Re- regardless of left, right. Mm-hmm. If, and, and I'm literally saying, like, left, right. But also, if you're left-handed, you're right-handed. Yes. You're black. Yes. You're white. Yeah. Doesn't matter, it Doesn't man. matter, man. Gay, straight. Right, right. Yeah. See, I love that. That's that's what it is. That's the, that's the best parts of this country to me, is when... Everything is just, you know, everything's given its opportunity. If it succeeds, it succeeds. If it fails, it fails. You know, you're not bringing back anybody that doesn't sell tickets. Right. If it doesn't sell tickets, if, if Pridezilla didn't sell tickets, we're not having this conversation. Right. You know what I mean? Well, I wouldn't have had a third annual. Right. Exactly. And it's telling you that it's a popular event that people like. Yeah. That's all we need here. And also, it's topical. Yeah. Like, it's in Pride Month. Yes. People that support it. And let me tell you. So... Dude, another lady said this uh, that was trying to defend. She was the, the the girlfriend of the guy that was like oh. commenting and telling me the community's trying to say something. Okay. And said, uh, gays or the and, and the LGBTQ plus community already frequent bars and restaurants and entertainment. So what are you doing? What, so, so they're good on the entertainment spectrum. That's, but, that's but, it. That's like, all the entertainment they get, and you can't. You shouldn't do it. It was like uh, me putting on that event was pandering to them. I'm like, I don't even know what you're like. That's so dumb. I won't, I'm not even going to acknowledge it. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Like, oh, I, I laughed at the comment. That's the line of drool running down your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I laughed at that comment, and then they came back and, and said uh, they laughed at my asking for reviews because they said, "Well, we don't understand. Well, they didn't know that you could click on lowest." Or click on highest and they come up. Okay, okay. So you, it doesn't. It, it it I've had so few low reviews mm-hmm. that it it looks like I don't have any. Oh my god! But you have to hit low reviews and then you come up with the five trolls that haven't had a good time. <laughs> right, right. And and so I get it. I go, but they're still there. Yeah. And 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 they're like, uh, oh, so now you're just gonna ask people to come back and give you a review? I'm like, yeah. That's how business works. That's how dumbass. business works. Yeah. Yeah, I'm imagining you've never run a business, dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. But the other thing I got called out on, I'll explain this, is that we're having Taylor Swift come here. And it was one of the drag queens' idea, okay? And so te- so one of the drag queens is going to dress up like Taylor okay, Swift okay. and have a dance party. We announced it as 18 plus. Mm-hmm. A bunch of people were like, we would love to bring our kids to this. Mm-hmm. But it's 8 o'clock until 11 o'clock right, right, right. at night. Mm-hmm. 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock on a Friday night. So I said, yeah, they want to bring like their teens and stuff like that. So now they're like, this guy, he's, he's letting teens in to, uh, or it says all ages, into his, the drag show. Go, First of all, it's not a drag show. There is going to be one drag queen here. But also it's like Miss Doubtfire. It's like all, right. dude, all of it. The, the mummers. Like it's right. all, they're all dressing up like this. Like, yeah. Dude, what are you? 
But here's the thing. the mark. <laughs> I can't win. Either Anybody way. that's from Philly, that's a problem with drag queens. Better remember that one of the relatives is a fucking mummer. Yeah. <laughs> I love the mummers. And that, that, that was, I mean, and that's actually a line stolen from Aunt Mary Pat because uh, Aunt Mary Pat said that on stage. If you have trouble with the mummer prey, what are you doing? Oh, that's so awesome. And, and it's true. It's a great one. But I'm like, but I'm like, I couldn't win there. I'm like, I said 18 plus. But then everybody's like, well, Taylor Swift fans are young. Right, right. So they want to bring them. Right. But then they're like, oh, well, you can't. And I'm like, it is your choice. You have to buy tickets. It's not in the general public. I get what you're saying. I don't want to have drag queens in libraries having story time. Right. Yeah, that's, two strings and whatever. Right. Yeah, I get, I get that. that. Right. I get I that. Do, I do get that. That's, I get that yeah. concern. So, but that's not what this is. Right. It's, totally it's a ticketed event. Yes. That you have to buy tickets right. to. Yes. So it's just it's wild to yeah. me. It's so it's such a basic, simple concept that I don't understand how a couple of bald heads out there just can't get it through their stupid minds. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like Karen's. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it, that is the keyboard warrior version of a Karen. That's yeah. exactly right. Well, because then because all the people I thought it was like like a coincidence that everybody's like uh contacting me. Mm -hmm. But I realized they were all on the same Facebook page. Mm. So I'm, I'm I'm assuming they're all part of the same group or okay. same thing, whatever. And uh so the one lady commented, she goes, I just sent him a message. They don't realize the person answering the messages is me. It's me. <laughs> the person answering from the Soul Joel's account is Joel. Okay? Because I don't sleep. It's like when you answer the phone. They I don't answer know the phone. They're talking. Like when I met you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, so who, whose place is this? And you're like, well, it's mine. Like, oh, okay. And you gra greeted yeah. me when I yeah. got out of my car. This, the sandlot is all mine, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> this little piece of paradise. <laughs> This, oh, it looks bizarre. Dude, and I, I looked at some of those videos when I'm like, this brand new amphitheater. And I'm looking at the. Oh. I love that you dude, called him amphitheater. It was, that was so dude, great. Dude, it was a deserted dirt field. <laughs> amphitheater. And there's Mike Vecchione standing all alone in the rain. <laughs> yeah. I love that, dude. dude. it was so oh. good. And, and, my, and my sister, God bless her, is going. And Joel was proud of it. <laughs> if you would have asked, Joel would have done nothing to it. <laughs> Dude, that, by the way, that documentary is so. What's it called again? Uh, Soul Survivor. Soul Survivor. If you like this place and you like Joel, check it out, man. I love it. It was so good. It was, and your sister's awesome, man. Oh, she's your sister's so good at it. Yeah, yeah. Who she's going to be coming on the podcast eventually? Oh, yeah. I hear a rumor. Yeah. From oh, yeah. Us. So uh, oh, keep yeah. your eyes open for that. Keep your eyes awesome. open for it. The Indiana. <laughs> yeah. The Queen of the Queen North. Of the North. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bend the knee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we will bend the knee when she appears. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, not to give away anything, but she wants to compare. Uh, 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 comedy and the military. Oh, I love, oh, I love it already. Yeah. Oh, well, wow. And she's going to clunk our heads together like Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your two times service. <laughs> I'll get my defenses ready. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, hey, man. Well, this has been fun. Dude, and uh, yeah, and anybody out there that's listening to this, uh, anybody that's probably listening to this knows Joel and agrees, but, you know, support him in any way you can, because uh, that kind of crap, uh, this place is not going to get taken down by this kind of bullshit. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, well, then download all of these shows, uh, follow us on YouTube, and uh, anywhere you get your podcasts, and leave us a review. Thanks.